Hello, stop, wait, listen to me. Let me explain myself here. I do not support genocide. I am not advocating for genocide in any way, shape, or form. I think genocide is bad and not good. Please, you've got to believe me. Genocide is bad and I do not recommend it. Trust me. But hear me out. It stands to reason that genocide exists on different scales. There's a line somewhere that separates genocide from just normal hate crime, which means some genocides are worse than others. Uh, people sometimes describe certain genocides as one of the worst to ever happen, which means there logically has to be a worst genocide, and there has to be a least bad genocide, which would of course make it naturally the best genocide. Now, the question here is how do we decide what makes a genocide better or worse? Wikipedia has a list of genocides that organizes it by death toll, and if we're rating genocides based on that alone, then the list would say the least bad one it would be the genocide of Aboriginal Tasmanians by British colonists in the 19th century. However, it seems like there isn't complete agreement that this should qualify as genocide at all, which makes it a fairly dubious answer to be called the best genocide. The next best genocide it lists would be the Moriori Genocide, where the Moriori people were invaded and enslaved by different tribes coming from the mainland of New Zealand. It's hard to call this the best genocide either though, because the range of estimates for what the actual death toll was is so wide. And also because the next genocide up of ISIS against the Yazidis also has an extremely wide range of death toll estimates. This is probably because it happened so recently, but it could put it as either the best genocide or a lot farther from the best than it is. Even if I were to say this genocide has the lowest death toll, it still has a bunch of atrocity types that didn't happen in some of the other genocides, and so it doesn't feel right calling this one the best either. Death toll is really Really not a very clean indicator of how bad a genocide is overall, so I've decided to use a different qualifier. I'm going to ask the masses. The voice of the people will decide which genocide is their favorite. So I just need to give some insight that the main reason that I'm doing a text-based um, interviewing method compared to a phone interview or a you know, on the street interview is that when you're doing an audio interview, you can't post the entire Bible. Alright, so Melaninu Cherry says hi, let's ask them what they think about ISIS. Melaninu Cherry number 4626 really does seem like the political type. I'm sure they would have insight into this. Oh, mm, that's odd. What is ISIS? Well, now, one of the advantages of using a text-based interviewing method is that you actually don't have to form your own words. I can, instead of actually explaining what ISIS is myself, I'd, I can just do this, and it works. Um, I'm not going to read that. Okay, well, I mean, I can work with that. Can you give me a rating out of 10, then? And you know, that's just going to be our final one for, um, for the ISIS genocide here. Um, 7.5. I'm not sure if they know that's higher than air got. Well, it automatically disconnected, but I mean, we got a rating here. 7.5 out of 10 for the the ethnic cleansing of Yazidis by ISIS. I mean, I don't make the rules. I'm just the messenger here. Also, I just let that person hang up immediately. That person took like 10 seconds to hang up, by the way. I am peachy keen. What about you, Mrs. Death. And just to be, just to be nice, just to be a bit flirty, let's at. What the f*** did I do? What did I say? That kind of hurt my feelings, to be honest. Give me a rating for the Tasmanian Genocide, or I will cry. Now, 
Manipulation of emotions is usually a good way to get results. Let's see if it works on poker number 700, number 7113 here. I don't know what happened to the first 7112. This person's really, I really hope they're taking their time to think out a well thought response because this is. So it's always a good idea to be friendly and agreeable when you're talking to people on the internet. Um, so I'm making sure to add all the friendly markers, such as colon three. Now, we just pop the question here. What is... Wait, what the fuck? What did this motherfucker call me? You know what, I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. Um, I swear to God, I'm not gonna stand for this. I should have probably thought about how this would sound to the person on the other end. Anyway, um, people aren't really responding to this question, so I'm gonna try to bring it in a little bit more slowly. I, I really have no idea what that means. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think they're very familiar with, with how genocides work. We're getting somewhere, to be clear. Let's try this one. Damn it! What overloaded there? It's okay, we can try again. We can try again. Okay. Okay, this person's coming off a little strong here. Um, I'm gonna give him the oh well. It's good to lead up to it. Right? Hmm, they don't like N-I. I'm not sure which one that is. Nye, not oh, hmm. That's not a genocide, by the way. Um, I don't think there's ever been a genocide against nice people. Also, what the fuck was that? Pics of- alright. Send me pics and then they hang- okay. Well, I can do that. Copy their username. Add friend. See what happens. Okay, they, they immediately friended me and then deleted their account. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna ask them a question right now, I think it's fine. That's a number. Give them a hi, we give them an OO. I want to be a little polite here, I want to be polite. Right off the bat, I want to ask them whether I can ask them, you know, it's a lot... Yeah, see, see, they're receptive, so... Now we pop out the what is your favorite genocide, and we... We see. So far I haven't gotten any answers that are actual genocides, I got... I got someone saying they don't like nice people, and then I got them telling me to send them pics, so I don't know what... I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna get now. I don't think these people know what genocide is, by the way. Um, okay, this guy says meow. This person just sent me an image of a man. They're just sending me a guy now. I don't know what the f*** that means. Alright, well, I'm not really getting any luck just straight up asking what the favorite genocide is, so I'm just gonna ask one by one uh, what a rating out of 10 is for each genocide individually, starting from the top with the Holocaust. I don't think they like that question very much. I just need a rating out of 10, and then I'm done, okay? This is all I need. I just need one single person to give me an actual answer. Okay, 8.7. This person thinks the Holocaust was 8.7. I can work with that. The Holocaust is now an 8.7. Um, could be better. I'll ask for some elaboration there, at least. I think that's fair. This is a bad idea. Could use less YK. I'm assuming YK stands for you know. Could use less deaths. Let's say they could use less deaths. I'm given the benefit of the doubt here. Looking down the list, uh, I have about 20, maybe 50 more to do. I wonder how blacklisted this video is gonna get by YouTube's algorithm. <laughs> so a group of people say hi. Xeridi says Omgi. I don't know what that means. It's not answering my question whatsoever. Getting a 3.5 out of 10 on the Cambodian one. So Mr. Mez says hello. Hopefully that answers the question for them. To be honest, Mr. Mez says, I'm on the edge of my seat here. I'm waiting. I want to know. I hope Mr. Mez is doing good. I wonder what Mez is short for. Mesoamerica, maybe? Mesamphetamine? I'm waiting. I'm filled with suspense. It's been over a minute. They haven't responded. I'm on the edge of my seat. Figuratively. In reality, I'm actually- I'm- my, my- I'm pretty close to the center of the seat, actually. To be completely honest with you. But, 
the point is I'm 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 waiting for an answer. Maybe he maybe maybe he meant that TBH was the answer out of ten. Like TBH out of ten. What is what does that rank as a numerical value? I think I think H would be a variable for height. Not sure about B. I think T is time. Okay, it fing hung up. I'm not really surprised, but I guess Mr. Mez got taken by the FBI before he finished his answer. Hello, Mealy. I'm just copying and pasting my fucking question at this point. I'm tired of typing it out again. Because it always hangs up every time I- before I even get an answer. Oh. Oh, they don't like genocide. Maybe they don't like Armenians. Mealy thinks they could have done it better, gotten more of them. Oh, hey, balls! Holy shit! Oh my god, I'm such a big fan! Guys, check it out. I got Balls' autograph! The real Balls! Oh my god. This is the best day of my life. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I, I do need to ask Balls what they think about Holodomor. Oh, oh geez. Well, I mean, Balls' word is law. That's why they can't- that's- I mean, the law was actually invented by Balls. So, I mean, there's no disputing that here. Gee, Holodomor is- Holodomore beats water. It beats basically bas pretty much everything now that I think about it. Oh, 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 Ball Balls is changing his answer. What's it gonna be, folks? Drum roll, please. Not an actual drum roll, a metaphorical drum roll. What's it gonna be? What, what did Balls meet? Okay. And he called me a kitten again. This is not a good thing to hear. I'm, I'm really not comfortable with that. I'm a full grown cat boy, actually. Okay. 10 or 0. Balls thinks. It was a 5. Hmm. Well, Holodomore is a 5 out of 10 now, I guess. Not a 10. Halfway. Not bad or good. Okay, well, I actually think that's gonna be just about enough genocide for today. Uh, it turns out that according to the public opinion, the Armenian genocide is actually a 1 out of 10, putting it exactly on par with the color orange. The Cambodian genocide is right underneath that at a 3.5, putting it right underneath the letter L. Holodomor is a 5 out of 10, surprisingly, right in between letters I and C. Above that, genocide of ISIS against Yazidis is actually at a 7.5, putting it above air, as well as right underneath vacuum cleaner, sleep sounds, white noise, ASMR, 10 hours relaxing video sound effect. And above that, the best one out of all of them is the Holocaust at a striking 8.7, putting it above the letter A and below ultra modern block nativity. I think overall the main thing that I've learned today is that people really seem to like genocide a lot more than you would expect they would. Maybe that's why they keep happening. This really says a lot about the human condition or society or something. Probably, maybe. Anyway, that's all. The next best genocide up is the Moriori. That's the Moriori Jet. It's interesting that their name has the Latin root to die, and they all fucking died.